So now I'm going to show you how to do a simple clay render. And first, I wanna, I wanna attach all the parts. No, I just wanna group these. Call them uh, X. Simple enough. And uh, then I wanna make a stage, make a plane, like so. I don't know, scale it up. No, I don't scale it. Convert it to an editable poly and uh, increase the size this way. And then, now what I'm doing here is just making a light studio. Just to get them. It's not really necessary for a clay render, but I'm just used to doing it, so I can't really make myself not do it because I'm so used to it. Now I want a bigger curve. There. Smooth it. Auto smooth. And yeah. Rotate this. Oh. Put on angle snap. Uh, like so. Move it up. Because I have it uh, stuck in the ground. Yeah, and uh, put it at an angle. Good. Make the stage a little bit bigger. Zoom in on the axe. And uh, as you can see, the lines are all off. So I can't be bothered fixing that right now. Yeah, it's, it's looking okay, guys. What do you think? looking good if you think it's looking good then you know press control C to make yourself a camera and uh, I want to rotate this some more so now I'm in camera one now if I press P here to go into perspective view and I uh, zoom out this is my camera as you can see and uh, it's it's a little off it's not the way I want it because uh, well target is not where I want it to be I want it to uh, be like, yeah, where do I want the target at? I'm not sure actually. There, perhaps? Press C to go into camera mode. Oh, you see it's too high. Target is too high. I'm just going to pan the camera down a bit. going to press F10. Press F10 doesn't work for some reason. Let's click on the viewport, press F10. Huh! That is very interesting. For some reason the render window does not want to show up. Try again. I mean, you can see it be pressing up here. Ah, if I click on the render, then it will render. I'm gonna take a break, guys, and then I'm gonna go back when I found this solution. All right, guys, I'm back. It was an easy fix. All it was that was my uh, resolution that I use normally is a 30-inch monitor resolution. It's uh, 20, uh, 25 by 60. By 1600, 2560 by 1600, and my uh, render render uh, setup screen was outside of my resolution, so I just had to reset it. So here it is, and we want to set our uh, render size for uh, what do we want? HD 1080p. Since this is a 1080p video. And uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna render 
Yeah, for the sake of this video, I'm going to render 720p since I'm recording at the same time. It might lag a little bit. I'm not sure I haven't rendered while recording before, except for the little test earlier. Um, and then uh, once we have that all set up, we're going to indirect elimination. See that everything is uh, correct. We're looking at nice. Enable global elimination. Yeah, let's uh, add some more precision with the final final gather. Now this is with mental ray. We're not using sky skyline here. Scanline, I guess it's called scanline. So minimize that. So we have it down here. So we don't lose it again. And I click systems. Click on daylight. Click yes. Add the daylight system. Uh, go to modify panel. Select manual positioning. At least uh, I like to select manual positioning. And uh, press P to go out of the camera mode. Uh, we're trying to sort of get a nice angle. We want a little bit of shadow here and we want a little bit of shadow on the underside. So yeah, that's uh, I like that. That looks nice. Press uh, C to go back into camera mode. Uh, we want some softness, say 10. 10 is a nice softness. Samples, 16 softness samples. Daylight system is just a big, big, big light. It's uh, yeah, it's just a big light. It's uh, nothing really special about that. Just delete that material that I created earlier to show you the highlights, and uh, just create a new standard material. Double click it to open it up right here. Click diffuse box with sides diffuse. Add ambient reflective occlusion shader. Set the samples to 64 to avoid graininess. Spread to about 4 and uh, 100 centimeters max distance to get a big distance. Set it to 2. Let's change the color to a darker color. And add some uh, beige, add some yellow, make it lighter, yeah, make it a little bit more gray, a little less desaturated, then make it lighter again. And I like that, I like that. A little bit more bright. That looks like a nice clay color. Select your material. Select your object. Actually, I want both objects and apply the material. Now the color changes. Do a test render. Oh, it looks like a little yellow. Uh, that you can change in Photoshop with a. Uh, it's an easy fix in Photoshop. It's just uh, change the hue value. But as you can see, we're getting sort of artifacts in the back there, these lines right here. It's because of these lines right here and the uh, ambient occlusion shader is uh, making it so. So we're going to create another material for the back because it's not behaving the way we want. So we just apply that to the back. And uh, I want to add some uh, specularity. Now this is a cheap, cheap material. This is why I'm using it right now because I don't want to render forever while doing this video. Oh, no, I'm see, w see what's happening? Because I didn't double click this, you have to double click it. I, I changed the other material, specularity, which is not what I wanted to do. I just want to add some specularity to this, a little bit wide specularity because I want it to sort of shine in a lot of places. There we go. And do another test render with pressing F9. See now the background turned gray again because you don't have that clay color on it, which I, I kind of like that actually. 
I'm satisfied with it. Let's get our diffuse shadow here with the softness. Yeah, are we satisfied? No, I'm not. I'm not quite satisfied with that render just yet. We're gonna press F10 and we're going to uh, go to render here. We're gonna scoot down. And we're going to enable a depth of field, and we're going to change the f stop to about uh, two. All right, guys, welcome back. We had a little recorder crash there, and uh, now we're back. And we were going through the rendering uh, just to make a basic clay render. We had our, our little render right here. I think, and I think I was going to show you how to do depth of field, but I think I'm going to make a separate tutorial for depth of field because, uh, yeah, well, it's it's late, it's ten o'clock, and uh, I have uh, lots of other work to do. So uh, I hope you're satisfied with the ending of this uh, tutorial, even though it came up with a lot of crashes and stuff like that. It was it was uh, kind of annoying for me. And uh, I hope you're happy with the result. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions at all, just leave it in the comments. Or send me a video reply or PM me or do anything to contact me. I, I will answer you and answer your question. I might even send you a video response uh, to address your uh, problem. If you have any requests on what you want to learn about 3ds Max, please just uh, send, put it in the comments below or send me a... Yeah, send me a, a video response. And uh, yeah, I guess this is the end of the video. I uh, hope you liked it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.